Hello and welcome to Neverwinter Nights 2 and this will be part 68. In the previous part we dealt, dealt with Lord Tavok's issues with the shard, which of course unfortunately was lost. Not only was the shard lost, but one of the Neverwinter 9 paid the ultimate price trying to hide the shard. The assailant is as of now unknown, but uh, yeah, we are politely bound to clash into him at one point or another. I did say at the end of that episode I was going to do some vendoring stuff and things like that, which I have done. But before we go and speak to Lord Nasha and tell him the bad news, we have one more thing we can do. There's a uh, bad thing up here challenging other people to some loot playing so let us um see what we can do Kane Lestalian apparently make it short I have a crowd to please oh uh, there was uh, an entire scene where he basically mocks um, a loot player, which unfortunately I lost because I tried to do this quest before, but abandoned it because it started to annoy me. Basically, he was just showing off. He was just uh, taking on challenges, and no one he was being challenged by could apparently play the loot. So. He uh, had an easy time winning the competitions. This is basically a banjo duel version with lutes instead of banjos. So you don't get to see all that, but uh, we get to tell them yet again. Right. Here are the rules then. Very simple. I play a tune, you play it back. Get it right, I have to play it again, defending my honour, so to speak. If I succeed, it's a draw. If I fail, you win the round. After four rounds, the crowd picks me as their beloved champion, and you go change your trousers before anyone notices the wet spot. Simple. Hmm, this one's rude, isn't he? What do I get if I win? Why don't I have an option to... Otherwise, is there not an option for shut up or punch you in the face or being rude? Hmm. I suppose. Seriously, what do I get? Standard wager is loser gives up his loot. Now, my instrument is from such fine stock that taking the loser's loot's not exactly an upgrade, is it? So usually I'm a good sport and let him keep it. Or what's left of it after I snap it over his talentless head. How generous of you. Don't let that stop you. Come on, give us a shot then. Okay, let's play. That's the spirit, love. Have your loot ready? Wait, I need a loot? Well, this one is a fine musician, isn't she? Oh yeah, look at me. I'm gonna beat Kane Lethalon with a Gafagan imaginary loot. Ooh, look. I don't need a loot. I'll just walk near a baby with my horrible swamp stench and it'll cry me a beautiful symphony. There's no need to be like that. Here, take this one. <laughs> Always keep a loner on hand in case another of you lootless loonies comes up here thinking he's the next cane. Right, let's get on with the show. Ladies and gentlemen of Neverwinter, are you ready? I love you, Kane. See how you like this one for starters. Your turn, love. Take all the time you need, no pressure. Just all of Neverwinter's well-to-do's watching your every move. Now, who thinks this rather unfortunate person should win? I'll remind you, 
Pity applause will only encourage her. Unthinkable! This... this amateur! This godforsaken blight on music! No offence, love. Did I miss something or did you just lose? Here, take the loot. No, I don't even want it anymore. I'd never have lost to you if it weren't for this. And the third-rate crowd. At least he's a third-rate loser. Wow, 250 experience for all that crap. <clears throat> Lovely. That was a good use of time. Got a loot, by the way. Golden loot of Shasha, apparently. Where is it? Oh. Well, it can cast haste. I'm ready for that. I will say up front now that there's going to be an awful lot of dialogue and I'm not going to go through it uh, word for word. It will take forever and my voice tends to go after reading continuously for a while. Um, I can talk for hours, no problem, but if I start reading up for any extended periods of time, it starts going a bit coarse. So I'm going to give you a synopsis once we have uh, gone through it. What happened to my home? How did my manor get so dark and cold? I'll have to ask my assistant to start the fire at once. I say, some light, please. This door is odd. I don't remember having this placed in my home either. I say, anyone, this door is stuck. Know that your words will not be heard in this place. Oh, forgive me. I wouldn't have raised my voice if I'd known someone was so close. This door seems to be stuck. Really, quite embarrassing. Could you? My door is sealed as well. Garius will come for you soon enough. Garius? That's not the name of my assistant. Garius is the master of the Fifth Tower. And you are alive because he requires your assistance, as he once asked for mine. I'm sorry. I can't see you too well at this angle. Whatever do you mean? I'm always willing to help anyone, you know. In this matter, you should choose death. For your sake, and the sake of this plane. Garius seeks knowledge of an ancient Ilfarn ritual that will grant him the power of the King of Shadows. But his understanding of the ritual is narrow. I can help there. Knowledge is something of a hobby of mine. Perhaps I could shed some light on the trouble, especially if it involves books or cryptic rituals. I will say that this Garius fellow chose a poor place to do it, this hardly looks like it was part of the Ilfarn Empire at all. It is not, but power lies deep within the stones of this structure. It is one of the sites of the war against the King of Shadows when he touched this plane long ago. Part of him still resides here and grants strength to his worshippers. Well, no good comes from tinkering around with ancient powers. All this ritual nonsense doesn't sound very wise. It is madness. But with the madness comes power, and Garius will not turn away. Most intriguing. Hmm. We just got introduced to an unknown. Which, of course, as you may gather, will not remain unknown for too long. Lord Nasher. I heard there was a battle at the Moonstone Mask. Is Melia? One of the nine is dead, yes. That is terrible news. Without her, the nine are weakened tremendously, and she will be missed. The killer, were you at least able to catch him? There was nothing I could do. He was there, then gone again. Then it seems there's little more to be done. I can dispatch the many star cloaks to the Moonstone Mask and Siren's home to look for clues. But as for what they can turn up, I do not know. It looks like justice has been denied this day. Nonetheless, you are to be congratulated for saving Lord Siren's life. 
If I'd known one of the nines was involved, maybe you could have shared more information. Keeping her identity a secret was not meant to harm you or her. There were too many uncertainties in these deaths as it stood to risk it. I'm sorry if you did if you find that difficult to understand, but it was my decision to make, not yours. Well, if I had known, maybe something could have been done. As I've said, it was my decision, and it was not my intention to put her at risk, only to save the lives of people in Black Lake. If there was a trial, a trail, eh, even trial, a trail, I would ask you to track down this murderer, but without one, I fear we will have to bide our time. And another murder has recently been brought to our attention. It seems that we have an even larger problem, problem with the Neverwinter than we first thought. And uh, here comes the bit that's going to be quite long winded. Um, of course, because Toriel got kicked out of Neverwinter after that. Uh, um, flop of a trial. Don't even know why it was a trial. The evidence was so incredibly evident that, uh, yeah, but whatever. So this is a representative of the four host towers, which of course Luskan is controlled, ruled by magic. And uh, this is basically going to inform us that we have some issues with Neverwinter's borders. And uh, we probably need to deal with it. I will slow down at one point because there is a very, very important section where you can gain or lose quite a bit of influence with Sandra. So um, I do need to just uh, be careful about what I'm doing here. Mm. Careful, both our mage and high ranking at, uh, as well. Hmm... Da Sitting in a tower, an ambassador... And uh, she wants uh, her assistant to be rather quiet. Um, uh, um, uh, of course, I should mention she also refuses to have any association with Toyo um, and Carius. Well, of course, there's also a book that I can't pronounce the name of anyway. Mm -hmm. Crossroad Keep is where it's located. So the sea, sea ghost aspires the assassins, the destruction of Emperor, you knew nothing, had no involvement with any of it? That is correct, and all you have is my word, as your squire. I'm sorry, Squire of a Squire has indicated this does not seem to be enough. And I've lost can Ember, blah 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 blah. This is the pressure point where if you choose the wrong answer, then uh, Sandra is not going to be particularly happy. Um. I see the Harperman and his lackey. Um, whatever. 
Let's not compare brow size, girl, shall we? I mean, the character, well, I suppose. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, we gained influence with Shanda because of uh, our protest about Amber. Anyway, it just uh, fizzles out that um, Lord Nash is going to ask Sandra to support the greater good. Um, he insists that they will do what, um, that they can't really do much for the people of Ember. But he's just asked Sandra specifically to be uh, firm. And stick with it and all that kind of stuff. I'm sorry if uh, it was a bit clunky that I skipped through the a wonky way, but it's just it was an awful lot of text and it really kills my voice when I have to read up any extended periods of time. So. Okay. That was cool. For some bizarre reason, I just got some uh, music playing. Lovely. So, let's see. Let's go to Crossfield Keep, meet with Nashville's forces, rescue Alton, and stop Gareth's ones and all. Oh. I hope we are suited up for all that. We have the party we want so far. And, uh, We'll just have to find an exit and head out there. It would have been nice if that had been voice. I don't like skipping through, but in my playthrough of Neverwinter Nights, I gave a synopsis of just about everything, except for the very little uh, spoken dialogue that was compared to this game. Um, this game is going to be played through with the intent of hearing the mostly excellent voice acting. And usually if it's only small story sections, I will happily read it up, but um, something this long, I will just give a synopsis of it and also try to speed up uh, things a bit. So anyway, crosshold keep. The chamber is ready, Master Garius. The ritual may begin whenever you wish. Very well. Where are the Shadow Priests? They took their leave, Master. Once they were done preparing the chamber for the ritual. Deal with them when we are done here. After this night, we shall have no further use for them, or their King of Shadows. It shall be as you command, Garius. Then let us begin the ritual. Order the rest of the Brotherhood here at once. After all, we wouldn't want to keep Neverwinter waiting. That farmer. They didn't even bury him. They just left him for the vultures. Why would they do this? It's monstrous! You'll get a proper burial once we're done here. Thank you. This poor man deserves as much. I'm with the many starred cloaks. This way, quickly, before you give us away. The Luskins change guard shifts around this time, moving men in and out of the keep. We can't waste any time. We were able to translate some of the writing in that journal you recovered from Arvon. And if we're right, Something very bad is taking place in there. I recommend we strike hard and fast, hopefully taking them by surprise and disrupting their plans. What are we up against? Around 20 Luskin soldiers in the courtyard, most of them asleep, and a handful more inside the keep. The Arcane Brotherhood wizards will be more of a challenge, but we can handle them. You don't know what we're getting into, do you? Luskin is just probing our defenses. 
The Hostal wouldn't risk too many wizards on this sort of mission. In any case, what's our next move? Looks like there's still some time before the next shift change. So let's sit back and let them sleep a little longer, shall we? It's time! The Luskins are opening the doors! Ready? I'm ready. Stay close and follow me. And they're very good at listening to what you say to them, are, you? are they? Anyway, it's going to be a buff buffet. Uh, you two, don't worry about these uh, individuals charging in towards you. It's, it's nothing. I just want to come and say hi. All that magic and the guy's still alive. Charge! Charge of the Lightheaded Brigade? No? Yes? The doors! Get to the doors! We're under attack! You men, get back in there and seal the doors! Rally to me! Push these dogs back! Um, cool, 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 be very high Um, I, I did notice there was a roof. You know what, let's, um... I tend to forget to use it, I should probably remember to use it, because it is so incredibly broken. Word of Faith. Faith, even, I think it's called Faith. So, let's go on. Hit them now, they can't do anything. Because that's fair. Come on. Are, are we done? Damn it, Nas Sivan, I want those door open now. Sorry about the delay, and this should only take a moment. It's alright, battles are usually unpredictable. Well, we've been in counterspells, I don't think we are going to be able to open the doors on this side. Perhaps try and push the door. Whatever. Wonderful, looks like the Brotherhood has a few tricks on, of its own. Alright, back up plan. I know this keep has an escape tunnel somewhere. I want you to find the tunnel exit and use it to get inside the keep. Once you're inside, kill whatever wizards are counting our spells so we can open the doors. The tunnel entrance should be in the mountains, far beyond these walls where invaders would be unlikely to look. I will mark the likely region on your map. Oh, go have a look then. Make it fast. Looks like the weather's about to turn against us. I don't know how many uh, how many fireballs they have memorized, but must be quite a few. So what's going to happen is uh, what's okay, okay. Gates. Okay. Lutery will be done later. It should stay uh, as far as I know. If there's a loot to loot, that should be. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run to the um, cool place where we need to go and do cool stuff, um, and then uh, call it an episode. Oh, there's Lutery. Thing needs to do here. So let's do some Lutery first. Shield kit, cool.
Discord. Copper necklace, cheapskate. Uh, why not? No, I don't care about the Sonic shop. Something you want? Yeah, no? not to click on you. Oh, we good. Are we looking for inventory space? Oh, fine. Okay, cool. Um, you took your sweet time showing up, girl. I suppose, I mean... Probably very, very busy admiring these mages casting fireballs at a gate. There could be ones of fireballs, I suppose, but they don't come cheap, so... Anyhow, anyway... We shall find the way to the secret stuff thing. Oh, more loot of you. Cool. Is that it? Hmm, that appears to be. Is there anything here? I'm just curious. Tour of map. Okie dokie. On the gate. I just want to make absolutely sure that the um, the secret exit entrance thing wasn't uh, hidden on this map. It would be stupid to go looking for somewhere else and then find out that it was actually here. So. It's actually called Crossroad, Crossroad Keep Escape Tunnel. I couldn't get much more. Um, correct, if it's right. But I will end this part here, and when we come back, I will have rested up, and uh, we will head in through the escape tunnel and see what happens from there. So, on that note, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.